Hello, reading spies. I've been expecting you. Hi, I'm Maz Evans, author of Buy Spy, the new spy series I hope you are going to investigate. I hope you have completed your first mission, and I hope that your top secret spy file is up to date. And most importantly, it's safe from all the villains. That's right. Today is all about the villains. A story is only ever as good as its villain, so we need to come up with a brilliant one for our stories to shine. The villain in Spy Spy is called Umbra, and Umbra is the name for the darkest part of the shadow, because that is where Umbra is hiding. And Umbra has been hidden away for 10 years and has come back to wreak revenge on Vi's mum, Easter. Do you have any secret villain in you? What would your villainous powers be? Mine, unquestionably, my evil stare. What's yours? Let's find out. Welcome back, reading spies. Are you ready for your next mission? I do hope so. Today, we are all about the villains, and like last time, I'm going to read you an extract from my brand new book, Vi Spy. But this time, I want you to listen out for some of the villainous goings on. I want you to tell me at the end, what is the name of Vi's dad? What is the name of the evil villain who is watching the wedding via satellite? And again, I want you to listen out for your favourite word or phrase, and what does it tell you about the world I've created? Maybe you want to make some notes, maybe you want to make a secret code, maybe you will spot something that nobody else has. But get your listening ears on. If you're going to be top spies, and I know you are, you need to watch out for those villains. <laughs> Okay, reading spies, it's time for a bit more by spy. Now, the extract I'm going to read you this time comes in chapter two when Easter is about to marry Vi's teacher, Mr. Sprout. But unfortunately, the wedding is interrupted by a very unwelcome guest. Now, listen out for those reading clues, my reading spies. I'll be testing you after this. Forgive the intrusion, Robert said smoothly, staring at Easter. I do have a very lawful objection, though. I'm afraid that Easter is already married. To me. George, I'm so sorry, I can explain, Easter garbled, trying to take Mr Sprout's hands, which were quickly withdrawn. Vi looked over at Russell, who sat down on the steps, gazing at the floor. Yes, I think you'd better had, said Mr Sprout, with a tremble in his voice. Is this true? Are you married to this man? I was, said Easter, and I suppose technically, and, and only technically, I a little bit still am. Vi heard Honeybee's breath catch on screen as Auntie Charity fainted in Alaska and Uncle Balthazar said a rude word in space. Look, said Mr Sprout to the imposter registrar. I don't know who you are, but an excellent point, said the man who was now smiling at Vi. Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Ford, Robert Ford. Another gasp went up from the congregation. Vi could barely hear it over her own thundering heart. This wasn't possible. Robert Ford was her father, and Robert Ford had been dead for 10 years. You can't be, Vi stammered, her racing heart making her words tremble. You're dead. Apparently not, Robert smiled. Am I, Easter? No, said Easter darkly, unfortunately. Vi, I'm so sorry, I love you and I was only trying to protect... But Vi heard nothing as Robert Ford walked slowly towards his daughter. A distant memory of a feeling filled her body. Something in her knew him. They had the same eyes, they had the same nose, they had the same smile. Hello again, Valentine, he said, crouching down to her height. It's been far too long, but we'll soon sort that out. Daddy's back now, and this time, Daddy is here to stay. Umbra watched with an amused smirk as the wedding chaos unfolded on the satellite link. Easter Day always was a fearsome opponent. Her husband of all people should have remembered that. And if he didn't, 
the fact he was taking 15 wedding guests to restrain her must have been a timely reminder. I'll leave you two to it, Umbra heard Robert whisper smoothly to the bemused groom. I'll trot by the house tomorrow for a little chat. Robert turned to his daughter. See you tomorrow, Valentine, he said. I promise. And Robert Ford never breaks his promises. You broke your promise to me! You swore you'd leave us alone! Easter screamed, looking up at the camera. Someone turn that thing off! I mean it! Turn it off before I... The screen froze on Easter's face, contorted with rage. Umbra smiled. That was going to be one heck of a wedding reception. Okay, super spies, did you catch all the clues? Did you catch Fi's dad's name? Wait, it's coming through on my jumper. That's right, Robert Ford. And the name of the supervillain who's watching over everything? I just heard Humbert. No, it's Umbra. Well done. That's the one. I called Umbra Umbra because Umbra is the darkest part of the shadow. And I thought that sounded like a super villainous name. I hope you picked out your favourite bit from that passage. Mine is when Easter tries to take Mr Sprout's hand, but he pulls them away. One of the most important things we need to do in writing is we show, don't tell. Now, no one says anything in that moment, but that tells us a little bit about how Easter and George are feeling in that moment. So in your writing, put those little details in that'll tell you how somebody is feeling without having to say it out loud. What other clues did you find underneath there? Vi's pretty chill, but how do you think she's feeling right now? And poor little Russell, he's not had it easy. And that was not a good day for him either. What did you notice about the similarities between Vi and her dad? And how do you think George Sprout's feeling about all of this? What else did you pick out? Have a conversation and let's see what clues you found hidden in my text. Super spies, you are rocking my world! Well done for picking out all of those clues. You are on your way to Rimington Hall without a doubt, but not yet. Another mission awaits you. I want you to create your own super villain. What would your villain look like? What would they say? What do they want other than world domination? <laughs> I want you to draw me a picture and give me as much detail as you can about your supervillain and put them in your spy file. Remember, they will be on Spider's most wanted list, so it needs to be safe in your classified folder. I'll be back with another mission for you next time. Until then, super spies, stay chill. This is Maz HQ, over and out.